Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I really wanna show you how I've made this washi paper. Now I've had this washi paper in my stash for quite a while. I purchased it from Alina Crafts and I originally purchased it thinking it was double-sided um, adhesive sheets, but it actually wasn't. So I've had it for about two years in my drawer and have never used it. And I suddenly thought, I wonder if I could use it to gel print on and then I'd have homemade self-adhesive washi tape. And that is exactly what I've done. So I've just been playing around uh, on my gel press with some rubber dance stamps and stencils and some acrylic paints. Uh, some of the acrylic paints are cheap dough crafts ones and others are from the Dilutions range. So I'm just going to show you today some of the samples as you've just seen, but we're going to make a few more in this video. And then I'm going to show you how I use them on a set of ATCs that I've made. So these are the self-adhesive adhesive washi paper. It's a bit of a mouthful, that is. <laughs> self-adhesive washi paper sheets. And I've got my 6x6 gel press and I've got a brayer. And first of all, I'm going to just trim the A4 sheet in half at 5 and 7 eighths. And then I'll have two pieces that will fit nicely over my gel press. I'm going to use this Mix It Up stamp set from Rubber Dance, uh, which has got some great kind of background images to use uh, for stamping on the gel press and I'm also going to use the four stencils that I've recently purchased from Rubber Dance as well. Links to these will be in the uh, description box below. I can't remember all of the names of them I'm afraid uh, so I'll pop the links below if you're interested. I've got a selection of Dilutions acrylic paint and first of all I start off by adding a little bit of purple through this crosses stencil. I then just use a scrap piece of paper just to take off the excess and once those crosses have dried on the gel press I'm then going to add another stencil over the top. Now I should have used different, a different colour to the purple because you kind of lose the cross detail here on the gel press. However the colour combination through this stencil was really really pretty so I left it in just to show you how this turned out because the actual end result was really really pretty. I am just using scrap paper to wipe off any excess paint because I'm, I'm not very good at just squeezing a little bit of paint out. And um, again, I'm using a scrap piece of paper to the side of me for the brayer as well. So this is the self-adhesive washi sheet. And then that's the first pull that I get. Once I've allowed the paint to dry, I then add a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow just so that I can get a second uh, print off of the gel plate. And again, I'm using another piece of the adhesive washi paper here. And I really like how that one turned out. You get a real gringy kind of effect. There's still lots more texture on the plate. So I'm going to pull off another um, piece from using the washi tape, or washi paper, sorry. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more of this turquoise blue. And again, do another print over the top of that just to kind of pull off the excess. And then as we lift this print, you can really see how we get so much texture uh, and colour combinations in that gel print. So I was really happy with that one as well. Next, I'm just going to add some orange and some yellow and I'm just braying it on to get a nice kind of blended effect. And then I'm going to use this stamp just to make some marks on the gel print press. And I'm also just um, stamping off my stamp on the edges of the prints that I've made where there's still some extra washi paper left. Once that's dried, I've added some pink uh, Dilutions paint. And again, I'm just going to uh, use another washi sheet to pull off this print. Again, this turns out really lovely. It's got lots of texture and uh, detail and colours in there. So, yeah, I was really happy with how that turned out. You can just about make out the swirls on camera. Uh, but here's a pile of all the washi papers that I've made. Uh, some of these I showed you at the beginning. But we're now going to turn them into ATCs. So I've already gone ahead and cut three panels of white cardstock at three and a half inches by two and a half inches. And I'm just picking out some of the uh, washi uh, paper prints um, and also some gel prints on normal copy paper that I'm going to use to make these ATCs. So to adhere the gel prints down to the ATCs, I'm going to use some uh, multi-medium matte. This is the Indigo Blue Slap It On. Um, I have actually put it in my multi-medium matte pot because that was empty and I find it just easier to uh, use that adhesive from a pot. Um, so I've just added it into there. But either product would be fine, whatever you've got in your stash, even normal glue would be fine for this. Uh, so I'm just kind of tearing up the gel prints and just layering those up on the, the small ATC panel. And I'm just using a paintbrush just to add in the matte medium, uh, just to stick that down. I'm really kind of 
working in diagonals on these ATCs. So I'm kind of trying to make sure that we've got a nice mix of colour. Uh, and I'm going to put that one aside to dry while we do the next one. Again, I'm using the same uh, bits of gel prints. I'm using the uh, paintbrush to just adhere them down. And again, I'm working kind of angle to angle, so or diagonal to diagonal, just to make sure that we've got um, a nice mix of those gel prints, but in a way that is pleasing to the eye. So there's not really a rhyme or reason to this. You could do this however you like. And of course, art is not restricted by rules. So yeah, you can just kind of enjoy playing uh, with your gel prints. And it's a great way to kind of experiment with colour. It's a great way to use up your gel prints and just experiment with them and see uh, what kind of colour combinations work well together. Uh, but it's also just a really nice creative way to relax without the pressure of having to have a finished card that you feel is good enough to hand to somebody. Uh, but equally, ATCs can be really beautiful. So once they're all dried, I'm going to bring in the stamp set and I'm just going to add some stamping uh, just to add a bit of extra interest in the background. Now, I choose... I chose to use um, Versafine Claire Warm Breeze, but as you'll see, it just gets completely lost in the background. So probably wasn't the best colour choice here. I've just um, cut a strip of washi paper uh, so that I've created some like washi tape. And I'm just kind of adhering that on the background as well, just to add a little bit of extra interest. And that's the great thing about washi tape. It really just adds a bit more interest to a background. And because it's partially transparent, you can still see all the great texture and colours coming through from underneath. So it really just does kind of enhance um, any kind of background that you're creating. I've used my long bladed Tim Holtz scissors just to trim off the excess. And now I'm going to add some stamping in some black Versafine onyx black ink uh, this is just now going to add some more texture and more detail to the background and as you can see the warm breeze uh, stamping really does just get lost so i kind of do go over it with some of this black stamping again i kind of like like to work diagonals i just think it's a little bit easier to kind of make sure that it's pleasing to the eye and that you don't kind of end up with too much stamping in one area and nothing in another but again you could do this however you like uh, I've got an array of birds that I have stamped and watercolored and frizzy cut out and um, I choose to use this red and yellow one here. I'm adding a little bit of black thread behind it and then I'm going to add some foam pads to the back of the bird and attach that down and that'll hold the string in place. I am using up these white square frame pads today so uh, I won't, I won't uh, make you suffer watching me peel off all the backing paper from them um, but yeah I've got them in my stash and I want to use them up. These little quotations or sentiments that I'm using today are from the fab new, um, a bit like a create your own sentiment stamp set from Rubber Dance. So yeah, they're, they're really great, especially for ATCs where you can create your own expression or just use one word statements. So again, uh, now that one's finished, I'm going to just trim off the excess from this next one. And again, I'm just going to pick another strip of washi paper, tear it up and um, use that to add a little bit of extra background interest on the ATC. I love the fact that I've got such a variety of colour and texture in the washi papers. So they're great for, for in so many different ways. And I'm going to make another video showing how I also have used these washi papers in other ways as well. Again, I'm going to add some stamping. And again, I'm going to use the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm just going to use these couple of postmarks um, just to add some more background texture. Again, I'm going to use some more stamping and this time I add a little bit of green stamping using the numbers. And again, it, it's very, very faint. It's perhaps a little bit hard to pick up on camera, but it does just add a little bit of extra interest to the ATC. I then go through my stash of watercolour birds again to try and decide which one would be best for this ATC. And I decide to go with this yellow one. And again, I'm adding some black thread behind the bird and some foam pads to the bird to raise it up. Of course, you could use foam tape. You don't have to add any cotton thread and you could just adhere the bird flat to the ATC, especially if you're wanting to mail these uh, inside a card. Um, so yeah, but I just, I like to just add a little bit of extra interest. And again, some white splatters with a Posca pen. For this ATC, I choose to use the word moments, which I'm just going to cut out using my long bladed scissors. Um, I've already stamped these out and heat embossed them in white embossing powder so that they were ready to go. So I did a couple in a previous video if you wanted to watch that. Um, but I'm just going to adhere that flat to the ATC. I was going to put it on an angle, but I decided it looked much better straight. So 
that's how I finished that one off. So for the third and final ATC, we're going to use the same techniques that we've done in the other previous two. Uh, this time I choose to take a slightly grungier, darker piece of washi paper, uh, just to add a little bit of extra interest to the background of this ATC. And that's really the great thing about washi tape or washi paper, is that it's an easy way of adding some extra colour and extra texture without adding any bulk to a project. And again, I'm just using a bit of extra pink um, washi paper here, just again, to add a little bit more interest and break up that background. I'm just going to add a little bit more background stamping, and then we'll be good to kind of add some more cotton thread, and then add the final bird to finish this ATC off. It's always better to add the splatters first if you can to a background and then that way you save getting any splatters on your focal image. Uh, so obviously in the first one I didn't remember to do that but as we've made the others that's what I've been doing. I've chosen to use the word dream and I'm just going to add a little bit of quick grab glue to the back of that and attach that down to the corner of that ATC. Now to finish off my ATCs I really like to round the corners so I've got this corner rounder punch um, and I'm just going to use that to round off each of the corners on the three ATCs. I'm then going to go around the edges of the ATCs using a small black ink pad. This is a Hero Arts black, but I could equally have used my Versafine Onyx black ink. Uh, I choose to use this small one because I've got it in my stash. Um, I want to use it up and because it's small, it's easy to go around the edge of projects with. So I really hope that you've enjoyed seeing today how you can use washi paper, that you can gel print on it and then you can use it as washi tape strips. I really hope that you've enjoyed seeing the process behind using my gel prints uh, to put together these ATCs and here are some close-up pictures of the finished ATCs. So please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments below if you have given any of these techniques a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.